Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using Octavia's 5-in-1 program. Now the recipe I'm doing today can be used for pretty much any weight loss program, whether you're doing a uh, Whole30 or you, uh, if you leave out the cheese, or if you're doing keto, leave in the cheese, or pretty much any weight loss program this probably qualifies under. So check out this recipe, Mexican meatloaf, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd like to take a minute before I get started to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Just hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know that you are cheering me on, that you like this content. And then are there recipes that you want me to try? Are there things that you like to have in your fall recipe lineup that you don't have a recipe for that you want me to try to create for you? Just let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do a little bit of recipe creation now that it's not so crazy making my oven hot like it would be in the summer. So let's make meatloaf. The ingredients that I'm gonna need for this meatloaf are two and a quarter pounds, and isn't it handy that Walmart's package comes in a two and a quarter pound package, two and a quarter pounds of lean ground beef. This is 90-10. I could have gotten a leaner uh, ground beef but it's super expensive. This was expensive enough. So I got a 90-10 um, and that will be fine. I'm gonna use some egg beaters, some garlic, green chilies, salsa, use whatever kind you like, cumin, chili powder, salt, and reduced fat. Now the recipe calls for a cup of reduced fat Monterey Jack and a cup of reduced fat sharp cheddar. I just bought the reduced fat fiesta blend it's pretty much a combination of those um, it only has a one and three quarters cup so i'm a quarter cup short but really i don't think that is going to matter a whole lot so let me show you how to put this meatloaf together so my first step is to preheat my oven to 375 so i've got that going it's actually already at 375 so we'll be good to go I'm gonna use my KitchenAid mixer to mix up the meat just so that I'm not getting my hands all in it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dump my beef in. I need a half a cup of egg beaters. I'm gonna dump that in there. And then for my seasonings, I need a teaspoon of chili powder. a half a teaspoon of cumin, 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 same thing, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and then I'm gonna pop this on my KitchenAid mixer and get this mixed up, and then I'll show you the next step. Oh wait, before I do that, I forgot the garlic. Two cloves of garlic, gonna be lazy. It's about a teaspoon per clove. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of garlic in there and then I'm gonna mix it up now and I'll be right back. Before I put it in the oven, the way that the recipe calls for this is to take the meat and put it on a square of wax paper. I'm using parchment paper, you can use wax paper. It doesn't matter, you're not gonna keep it this way. And it says to pat it out into a square because you're going to roll it up. So I'm gonna kind of do it in a, it's probably gonna be a little more rectangle than square. I don't think it really matters because it's gonna roll up anyway. If you've watched the uh, video that I posted on the weight loss tips, I talked about my favorite West recipe sites, and this one comes from Chris Sloan's um, gleanandgreenrecipes.net. Um, and I happen to not even be tweaking this recipe at all, other than adjusting the kind of cheese that I used. Um, so I'm following his recipe exactly as, as he has it. So I'm gonna kind of pat it out. It's more of a rectangle than a square, but that's all right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
put on the green chili, so it calls for a four ounce jar of green chilies. Get these all out of here. Use my fingers, you know, your hands are the best kitchen tools, right? That's what they say anyway. You kind of get them. There's no way you can get it even, but I'm gonna kind of get them more towards the center just because I'm gonna seal the ends in a little bit. And then I'm gonna top it with the cheese. And this is one cup, about a half of that, bag of reduced fat cheese and just kind of spread that around and then i'm going to use the paper to kind of help me start rolling just kind of fold it over fold it over and just keep Kind of folding it over a little bit at a time like that. Because then you can peel off the paper. And then kind of seal the ends so that stuff doesn't leak out, as he says in the recipe. And I'm going to kind of roll this right into my little pan. Pull out the paper. So my oven has preheated. I'm gonna top this with the half cup of salsa, which I've already taken out of the jar. You can use whatever kind of salsa you like. I happen to really like the hair does because I like the chunks of tomatoes. It is a little bit watery. Um, so when I put this in the oven, I'm gonna put it on a baking sheet because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some spillover. I'm gonna let it cook. The recipe says 50 to 55 minutes. I'm guessing it's gonna take a good hour. However, I am going to top it with cheese for the last 10 minutes of cooking. So I'm gonna put it in for 50 minutes, see what it looks like, and then I'll top it with the cheese and I will have a finished meatloaf. I will be back shortly to show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is my Mexican meatloaf out of the oven for a little bit. I had to have a little phone conference with one of my students. So Mexican meatloaf, I'm gonna serve this. This comes out to be uh, six servings and it is one lean and it's a negligible amount of greens and it is two and a half condiments. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to cook up some cauliflower, some rice cauliflower and mash it up uh, so I've kind of got the mashed potatoes and probably do a cup of that as two greens and probably some green beans as another green and kind of make a traditional meatloaf with mashed potatoes and green beans. Should be pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure that you leave me comments in the box below. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And until I see you next time, keep living in the light.